GBIS is part of a larger framework called MTSS, which is multi-tiered systems of support. And so when we're looking at students in a school, we want to support all students academically and behaviorally. And so then through three different levels, through different tiers, they call it of support. And this PBIS focuses then on the behavior or the social emotional aspect. It's strength-based. We look at ways to capitalize on individual strengths and how to implement supports at a building level, a small group level, classroom level, and then individual level to meet those needs of each student. We know that you know, just by pointing out what a student is doing right, we could change 80% of the behaviors in our classrooms just by pointing that out. So it really is based on that showing the positive behavior, acknowledging the positive behavior, teaching and reteaching and reteaching sometimes if it needs um, that positive behavior. It's almost like you want to call them out or catch them being good or, or demonstrating expected behavior. We use a lot of vocabulary like expected versus unexpected behavior. Also looking at how your actions, how those unexpected behaviors make other people around you feel. So it's not only, you don't want to focus so much on the behavior, it's more on the function of that behavior or what they're trying to get. Because most behavior has a function or a purpose. Dr. Ross Green has um, this kind of famous line he uses that all kids do well if they can. That when, if kids could do well, they would. And so if a student is showing challenging behaviors, our job as adults is to find out what's getting in the way. And often that's an unsolved problem or it's a skill deficit. So then we work with that student to solve that problem or provide interventions to build up that skill deficit, just like we would do for academics. We treat it the same way. Even just understanding um, what PBIS is and just that it's more proactive and setting students up for success and recognizing the fact that if a student is being read or not ready to learn, it doesn't matter what you say. Like you have to, you have to meet their emotional needs first, their social emotional needs first before you can ever do the learning. And I think the, the foundation, the basis of that is the first, like we would do with academics, we provide that strong instruction to all students. That's that tier one support where we teach expectations. We don't just say, show good listening. We define what good listening looks like. We show them what you do with your eyes, with your ears. What is your body doing? What is your brain doing in good listening? And we show that and we teach that to everyone. And then we reinforce that. So for Brunswick, you guys have an acronym called PRIDE, Performance, Respect, um, Integrity, Determination, and Effort. And so what all kids, what all kids in your district really know, and I know this because I've done walkthroughs of the buildings, is that they know what those expectations are and they know how to display them in different settings in the school. So if we're doing PBIS tier one, it's for all kids in the building, uh, behavioral support, social emotional support. If we're doing it at a tier one and a tier two level, tier two is really for kids who need a little bit more support. Those are small groups of kids. And then tier three is really for individual kids who might need a lot more support with their behavior or with social emotional um, needs. So for um, the two gold winners that you guys have in your district, that, that, that means that they are implementing all three tiers of the system. When you walk into a building, you can immediately tell if people are implementing the framework. The whole culture of the building, is just the whole vibe of the building, you, you know, you can just feel it. Now, we don't just go on feelings, of course. We have tools that we use to measure it, but what those tools will measure will be things like um, a lessening of behaviors that we see in the school, disruptive behaviors. We see an increase in positive behaviors. We also see, um, in some cases, increases in academic achievement because more time is devoted to being on task with academic uh, subjects. We also see um, teacher satisfaction and staff satisfaction go up as a result of implementing the framework. Um, it, it is just, I have seen reductions in behaviors. I have seen um, just, I've seen buildings just be turned around by implementing the framework with Fidelity. It's really amazing the transformation that can happen. As our implementation of PBS has gotten stronger, we have um, less things like office referrals and all that. But I think it's more, um, just for me would be the, how we view behavior. I think that's what's changed. I think as we learn and we see when we take the time to teach kids the expectations at that tier one level, 
then that solves usually like 80% of the problem. There's so much learning that goes on that's beyond just academics, that social emotional piece. I know we talk about it a lot, but it really is. It's so important and it has been a game changer for us at Memorial with um, understanding it and, and talking to each other about what are you doing, what works, how about this, um, and just offering no two students are the same. So what may work for this student, it might not work for the next. So just what are some other options? And, you know, when the kids can, um, when the students can identify their emotions and ways to like those tools to work through it. I mean, that's a huge, just we celebrate because they're understanding that, you know, it's okay to have a rough day. We all have rough days. How can we get through it? All of the administrators and people from the PBIS teams come together you know, once a year and we'll share ideas. So the high school will share things and we've developed strategies. Part of our tier three process was um, a form that originally started at the high school. So we were able to use something that came from the high school and adapt it to meet the needs of Towsley. Brunswick as a whole has done a fabulous job with the framework. Um, they have, they're, everybody is at least at a, a silver or now we have a couple of a gold um, buildings. And I'm sure that that is going to continue to evolve as other buildings will pr probably apply for gold next year. Um, but you guys as a district, as a whole, have really done wonderful things with the framework.